Hello and uh, welcome to Saki Tech. Welcome to the first installation of the C++ programming series called Introduction to C++. Uh, we will write our first program today. Now the purpose of this, this, uh, this specific module is to prepare you guys for what's to come. Um, as with anything, any project, before you start the project, you first need the tools to complete it. So we will download all the tools needed to write, build, and run a C++ program. Uh, after making sure we are up and running, we can then move into some real programming. Don't worry though, we will still program a little bit in this module today. So you need two tools to write and build a C++ program. You need a text editor and uh, you need a compiler. A text editor could be something as simple as Notepad. A compiler is way more complicated, but uh, you don't have to worry about the intricacies of a compiler. You need the text editor to type in the code and the compiler to build and execute your code. So we will be downloading uh, an all-in-one package to perform both of these functions. Uh, these all-in-one packages are known as IDEs, Integrated development environments. They come prepackaged with the text editor and a compiler and a bunch of other add-ons. IDEs are everything you need for this course and are available to download for free. Uh, the one we will be using is called Code Blocks. So let's go download and install it and code a test program to make sure everything works. All right, so let's go to the website and download code blocks. So uh, the website is codeblocks.org. Okay. So once you're there, click downloads. Go to download the binary release, and then go to Windows section. And remember, you can download this code blocks for Linux or for Mac if you so desire, and you can follow this tutorial no problem. Well, I have a Windows machine, so I'm going to use um my Windows machine, the Windows version. So here, when you come to the options to download code blocks, make sure you get this this specific file. It's the bigger one, and it's the one that does not say user. Okay, so you got to download the code blocks dash twelve dot eleven m i n g w setup dot x e x e. Okay, so let's um, any one of these links will work. Give me a couple seconds before it's ready to download. Okay. So download is starting right now. Okay, so once the uh, download is complete, just go ahead and open that executable file. Now let's minimize all this stuff. Okay, so that's the code blocks installation. So as this comes up, just follow my instructions. Click Next, click I Agree, and then do all the default installation files. And you have some options here, but you just want to forget about those. Just do Full, okay, and click Next, click Install. It's asking you, do you want to run code blocks right now just say no to that for now click next click finish okay so let's uh, launch our code blocks application right here and there we go this is our IDE now on the left side right here you're gonna see projects under projects you're gonna see workspace all the uh, programs we are going to build are gonna go right down here so let's uh, build our first project. Okay, so click File, New, Project. Okay, and we're going to be using a console application. A console application is uh, kind of like a command prompt. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is what the console application is going to look like. Every time we code a C++ program and then we run it, this is what you're gonna see a black console screen with text in the background uh, 
okay so click console application and this is the only place we'll probably be going every time we start a new project so click go here just uh, click click next make sure you choose the language the programming language as C++ click next and then uh, give your project a title ours is gonna be hello world that is the famous um, program that everybody uses the very first time okay the folder it's gonna go in is gonna be C projects and you can change this to whatever you desire and uh, just make sure you don't use any spaces make sure you put your code in folder names that have no spaces and the file name has no spaces just your use underscore um, instead of spaces so this is the project file name and this is where the project is going to be stored okay so click next so a project with the same name already exists are you sure you want to override you're not gonna see this I, I see this because I already did one run so just uh, click I'm gonna click yes and I'm gonna click finish project file already exists do you want to overwrite that yes yes okay you're not gonna see any of those pop-ups you're gonna see this directly so here's your workspace there's your project there there is all the sources relating to your project and uh, if you click plus you'll the main CPP double click that and it pre populates with an existing program this is the hello world program um, just remember the whole point of this first introduction to C++ module was to make sure we have all the tools we need to start programming so right now we have all the tools let's make sure they work so what you want to do after you type in a program you click build and click build this compiles the program and if you look at the bottom window here it tells you there were no errors there were no warnings after the compilation process went through so that means this program is good to go okay so let's uh, go back to build and click run and look at what we see your first program it says hello world okay and just ignore these for now this is just extra output that we don't need we did not program this part we only programmed hello world so let's exit out of this okay and uh, this is what was printed on the screen so before I uh, I bring this tutorial to end I just want you to see this ignore these for now we're gonna go over these in the next module but uh, if you look at this C out this is an output statement so what it does is it prints onto the screen what you put in in between these two quotation marks so if I said hello world hello and save this file okay and uh, rebuild the pro uh, the whole thing and rerun the whole thing you're gonna see hello world hello okay so everything here just remember this is all the syntax of the language it's unchangeable the only thing that can be changed is the string that you're putting on the screen anyway let us let us end this uh, module this module was to make sure we have everything up and running in the next module we're gonna start learning about programming okay and uh, just for an exercise exercise for you guys why don't you go ahead and change this to something that you want to see on the screen and do a build and run before you do a build and run make sure you save the project all right thank you for uh, watching this uh, episode guys subscribe to my channel for the um, for more videos to come and uh, click the like button if you like this video and uh, I'll see you in the next module